Adrenaline, team spirit, drive and courage. This sport appeared in China more than 2,000 years ago and spread throughout the world, bringing together people of different ages, physical fitness and social status. In order to get involved in this fascinating modern activity, you do not need to have any special skills. You just need the desire. The boat has 20 seats. There is one seat for the drummer, one for the coxswain, 10 for the left, 10 for the right, all row at the same time. The very first man is set, and that's it. <laughs> the boat has a head and a tail. And all this action is called rowing on Dragon class boats. In Asia, about 150 million people take part in dragon boating. In Ukraine, the first competition took place in 2005. The majority of athletes are in Kiev, about 1500 professionals and amateurs. Dragon boating is especially popular in Dnipro, Poltava, Horishny Plavny, Odessa, Lviv, Kovel, Chernihiv, and Cherkasy. Our hero Yaroslav Hanchevsky is one of the representatives of this new exotic but very rapidly developing sport in Ukraine. Zodiac sign Cancer, Eye color Green, Favorite color Green, Favorite season Summer. Yaroslav was born in Horishny Plavny, Poltava region. His father, Serhi, was a master of sports of the USSR in canoe rowing and gave his son an unexpected gift for his seventh birthday by taking him to his sports club. At first, Yaroslav was, to put it mildly, not thrilled. At first, I didn't want to do it. I thought about doing another kind of sport. I started with tennis. Then I thought, I don't like tennis. I didn't know where to go, but I wanted to play sports. My dad said, get on the bike, come on. I did not know where we were going. In the end, he brought me to my native rowing center, gave me a paddle, a pillow, said, go out onto the water. I'm keeping an eye on you. Well, that's how my sporting career began. Rowing gradually attracted the boy. His uncle Yuri trained him. A few years later, the Hanchevsky rowing family decided to open a dragon boating club called Dragon Calm in Horishny Plavny. Nine-year-old Yaroslav, as the youngest member of the family, got the position of drummer on a boat. And people in Poltava region love this eastern sport. Now the club has 98 athletes and about the same number play for corporate teams. <laughs> To popularize this sport in our small town, this dragon boat passed through very well. Any age category can take part in this sport. Even now people come, they're happy. The main advantage of rowing dragon boats is how easily it is to participate. It does not require special or additional skills, excellent physical shape and does not impose any age limit. Anyone can come, have a go and show the result. Do the exercise with me, everybody. Straight arms out, upright paddle, stretch, attention, one row, go. Get ready, we do two strokes all together, attention. Time. Two. Good. Now do five strokes. Go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Anyone who comes to the training after three, after five sessions, will enjoy the sport. The environment, the water, which pushes away negative energy, and you can socialize with the people there. This can be women, this can be men, young people, students, in other words, a diverse audience, and you can always get enjoyment, not only from rowing, but also communication. Then, over time, if a person doesn't even have some of the strongest back muscles, for example, they build them up here in training. Over the years, they're getting stronger and can also take part in international competitions. In 2017, Yaroslav Hanchevsky enrolled in the National University of Physical Education and Sport. He moved to the capital and began to play for the team Dragon Boat Club Kiev. Shortly afterwards, he got into the Ukrainian national team. I went through the selection process to get into the national team of Ukraine. It went in several stages. The first stage was in winter. This was the General Physical Training Championship of Ukraine. 
собственно, физическая подготовка самого The physical training of the athlete was checked, then the second stage is held, which is on water. They take outriggers, which are behind me and go to 150 meters at a time, and the best times are selected. The boat is assembled in crews. Favorite rider – Mikhail Litvak. Favorite movie – Lord of the Rings. Favorite music – Rock. The cheerful, sociable guy quickly felt at ease in the national team of Ukraine. Thanks to leadership and organizational skills, he earned respect from his colleagues. Last year we held a student championship in Ukraine. And it so happened that students of Yaroslav's university began to unite around him, and by informally watching him, it was obvious that he was moaning at someone, saying something to someone else. Bang, bang, bang. I look again and everybody was standing in a row. It looks like he really does have abilities to manage people. So I can say with confidence that he's such an informal leader in his own group. In 2018, the Ukrainian national team won the second team place at the European Dragon Boat Rowing Championship for national teams in Brandenburg under Havel, Germany. They won 27 sets of gold, 17 silver and 5 bronze medals. Yaroslav Hanchevsky also contributed to this achievement. He has three golds and one silver medal. The distances were, if I'm not mistaken, 500 meters, 1,000 and 2 kilometers. The most difficult distance for the whole team was the thousand. The Germans wanted to take away the nation's cup from us, which we won two years ago. They assembled a strong team, but we showed good resistance. We showed them that we did not just come for the ride, but to really get results. Well, actually, we gave them a hard time on the 500 meters, but the 200 was not enough for us. We got second place. This is great success for a young student who is 19 years old. Plus, that year he performed the Master of Sports in a kayak. Now it's likely that he will be assigned to a Master of Sports in a dragon boat. And we plan and expect that if he continues to train the same way as he is training now, he will probably become world champion at least, and perhaps he will achieve even better results in our sport. Dream in sports, Olympic medal. Dream in life, to travel around the world. Love, yes. Happiness. Family. Our hero successfully combines two sports. Now his plan is to win the Olympic medal in rowing and canoeing and the gold at the World Dragon Bow Championship. Two world championships will be held in 2019, in July in Thailand between national teams and in September in Ukraine between club teams. So there are chances, now the main thing is to train well and to take them successfully. I think the most important thing now in the club and the national team is to win the World Cup. I think I would like to win at least both this year. Team spirit and crew cohesion is the main key to success in dragon boat competitions. You can't treat someone badly with whom you row in the same boat. So rowers are the most friendly and always on the same wave both in the literal and figurative sense. This is noted by representatives of other sports. I have friends, skaters, they ask me, here we'll look and see that you are so good to each other. I say, who are you? Well, rowers treat each other well. And then for the first time the thought struck me that one cannot treat each other badly. Yes, it is clear that there are always some nuances in the boat, but people still help each other and are more humane due to the fact that all the same today or tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, they all end up in the same boat and they have to row in one direction. The dragon is a fabulous and capricious character that requires a special approach. That is why rowers have a tradition. Before competition, the dragon needs to be appeased. It must be sprinkled with water, fed with grass. We take a bunch of grass, put it into the mouth of the dragon. He has a head. We put the grass into the boat. It's like we're feeding the dragon, stroking him, saying good words, pouring water on him. 
such a ritual, I don't know. Sometimes it helps and people calm down after it. They feel that the boat is moving. It is quite funny to watch this, honestly. It's interesting. Maybe we will feed the new guys grass, splash them with water, so it brings some kind of cheerful enthusiasm. When the dragon is pleased, the crew took their places, and the drummer sets the rhythm, and natural factors, water and air, are connected to the process. Everything depends on the temperature of the water, and mainly on how the wind blows. Wind speed is one of the most important things, because the wind can interfere. The wind can help. The total weight of the boat, the weight of the athlete, because we have weight distribution. The lighter ones sit at the front, the heaviest in the middle, and the light ones behind them, so that the boat is loaded properly. The result also depends on this, but the whole result depends only on the team, on its training. In the Dragon Boat, Yaroslav tried himself both as a drummer and as a coxswain, but he admits that he feels most comfortable at the oar. He likes to be a part of a united team. I think it's most comfortable as a rower with an oar. The coxswain, it's desperate stuff. Guys sat at the helm, especially on certain long distances. Then you need to sit on a wave and use someone else's wave so that the boat rolls. The boats are very close to each other. If you lose control of the boat, you just run into someone else's boat, break the oars, and everything will be bad. Every dish – borscht. I can cook. Borscht. Favorite drink. Compote. In his free time, Yaroslav loves to cook. It's a pleasure for him to help his mother and grandmother in the kitchen. He sees his future only in rowing. He prefers team sports. I would like to try my hand at volleyball. I don't know. I watch volleyball. I really like this sport. I would also like to play basketball. For example, in such team sports everything is mostly about the team. I don't really like individual sports. I don't know. The popularity of rowing dragon boats in Ukraine is growing with every year. And not only because of its accessibility. This sport provides contact with nature, health, new friends and unforgettable emotions. When the drums beat in competitions, I don't even have the associations to explain how this can be. It's just an explosion of emotions. A big crowd has gathered, and everyone's shouting. Well, that's what it is like in a dragon. The drums beat, these are all emotions. And emotions are a human factor, which we lack. <laughs> Our hero Yaroslav Hanchevsky has only felt the taste of victories. Their prize is 12 years in a boat, daily training, not always in sunny weather and not always in calm, warm water. But here he feels in his own place, happy, surrounded by loyal friends and with big plans for the future.